A new report is now blaming Chinese agents for spreading fake messages meant to escalate panic here in the United States. This is Secretary of State Pompeo calls out China and the World Health Organization for their handling of the pandemic. The Chinese government hasn't permitted American scientists to go into China, to go into not only the Wuhan lab, but wherever it needs to go to learn about this virus, to learn about its origins. Look, we know it began in Wuhan, um, but we need to figure this out. There's an ongoing pandemic. We still don't have the transparency and openness we need in China, and it is the World Health Organization's responsibility. Here, here to weigh in is State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega. Hey, Morgan, thanks for being with us. Hey, Ainsley. Hey, I want you Thanks to elaborate on this. You're welcome. Thank you. I know mm -hmm. that, you know, China didn't, they, failure to alert the United States, WHO downplayed it, waited six days in China to, to notify anyone of how bad it was. And now we're learning that they tried to spread panic here in the United States. Tell us more about that. Mm -hmm. So I think if you look at um, what the president, what President Trump and Secretary Pompeo have tried to do since since the beginning, since January, when we started looking at this crisis, ultimately the fundamental question that we all have to answer, that the world has to answer, coming out of this uh, coronavirus crisis, is how do we prevent a pandemic of this scale from ever happening again? We know this isn't the first pandemic that the world has ever faced. We've had Ebola, we've had SARS. So how do we prevent that again? We need what Secretary. Pompeo is calling for is real transparency out of China. The world won't be able to answer that fundamental question, Ainsley, until scientists are allowed in, until every theory about how this virus emanated can be thoroughly researched by scientists and by doctors. And this is why, uh, principally why President Trump is holding the WHO, the World Health Organization, accountable until we can get to those answers. And the, and the scary news, Ainsley, is that we still can't. So um, I was impressed with what the president said. He doubled down yesterday. We're all sick of Iran and what they're doing with our boats. You know, they had these 11 fast boats that yeah. uh, harassed and approached our, our warships in the Persian mm -hmm. Gulf. And the president said this. We don't want their gunboats surrounding our boats and traveling around our boats and uh, having a good time. We don't want them anywhere near our boats. We're not going to stand for it. So if they do that, that's putting our ships at danger and our Great crews and sailors are danger, in danger. I'm not going to let that happen. And we will. They'll shoot them out of the water. So, Morgan, he's saying, Iran, you've been warned. Yeah, and as Secretary Pompeo said yesterday, the president's been very clear with the Department of Defense and, and the Department of State to protect our diplomats, to protect our, our soldiers, uh, our sailors, everyone who is who is overseas. You know, there was another important thing that happened with Iran yesterday in addition to the president's announcement. We saw uh, another missile launch out of, out of Iran. Secretary Pompeo said that he believes that this uh, defies U.N. Security Council Resolution 2231. We're calling on the world to join us and to hold Iran accountable for that. So at a time whenever you've had at least 17 Iranian senior officials uh, die of the coronavirus, you're seeing this virus just wreak havoc in Iran. Iran is spending yes. their time harassing American ships mm -hmm. and launching missiles in defiance of UN Security Council resolutions. Why don't they take that time and effort and money and actually use it towards their public health ministry to help the people of Iran? Yeah, how do you explain that to your people who are dying and don't have jobs? Meanwhile, right. they, they, sh right. they have the satellite. They said it's, it was successful yesterday. What does the State Department yeah. say about that satellite that they launch? Yeah, so the Department of Defense confirmed some of the details uh, last night, and, and we think that this is a, a flagrant violation. Uh, this is something that the world should be up in arms about. Iran, while they are launching this missile, mind you, are asking the United States for sanctions relief. Uh, it, it would almost be comedic if it wasn't actually huh. sad for what the Iranian people are going through. So while they are simultaneously launching missiles in defiance of UN Security Council resolutions, they're also saying, please trust us, please let go of sanctions. That's just not going to happen, not in this right. administration. Morgan, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Ainsley. You're welcome.